Hey guys, welcome back to A Little In Light. I'm Samantha. Uh, we're gonna walk around the farm today and I'm gonna show you what we've done to kind of winterize. It's not very pretty, but it's working. So <laughs> that's really all that matters right now. So for the goats, uh, they have this little lean-to type thing behind our feed barn. We did put some plastic up on one side to help block some more wind, but they promptly knocked that all down. Uh, so we are going to add some more wood right here. Uh, but for now, they have a bunch of hay in there that they can bed down in, and there's three of them. They all kind of cuddle together, so they're really pretty good. That's my good Cooper. So for Cooper here, he has a dog house, but when it gets cold and windy, he just comes inside with us, um, even though he's super fluffy and he actually really likes the cold. We just bring him in because it's nice. <laughs> Not really because he needs it. The rabbit barn is where things don't look so great, but they're very functional. Everybody's out of the wind. Uh, you know, just gotta do what you gotta do. Once we have this second half of the barn up over here, then we'll put up like official <laughs> um, permanent wind blocks that we can roll up and down. But uh, since we don't have that yet, this is what we have. Rabbits are really cold hardy animals. Uh, so really they don't need help from the cold. It's just the wind that we're trying to prevent here. Hi pig pig pigs. It's about dinner time, you guys hungry? Oh, really, Wilson? The pigs are the only animal here on the farm that get a heat lamp. Um, I know a lot of people are against heat lamps because they are fire hazards. However, uh, pigs are extremely susceptible to cold weather. They're not able to keep themselves warm like almost everything else. Um, if you take your jacket off and you sit in their enclosure and you're cold, they're cold. It's the same kind of thing. Uh, so they get a heat lamp. Now, if something crazy happens and it does catch on fire, they're not close to any buildings. Um, it would just be their little house that burns down. That wouldn't be great, but it's not a huge risk for like our house or a whole barn or something like that. Along with the heat lamp here in the pig pen uh, in their little house, they also have a ton of hay in there. Uh, and we'll add more every couple of days to make sure that it's dry and they have enough that they can get underneath it and burrow. The last animal we're going to go check on is the chickens. It's starting to uh, get pretty dim out here. So some of the chickens have gone in to roost for the night. The wind on our property really comes from the left and right of this coop. So it works out really well. Uh, and then there's a lot of ventilation. That's their setup. They don't get a heat lamp. They're feathered. They don't need it. They have proper uh, roosting sticks so they can cover their feet. Again, it does not get that cold here. So I'm not worried about frostbite. So that's pretty much it. To winterize, we had to put up a few wind blocks uh, like for the rabbits and then everybody pretty much needed hay that they could get in. Cooper comes inside, the cats, if they want to, they come inside, but they really like the cold. They get all frisky and go do their cat things. Um, but yeah, we're in the south, so we don't really have to do too, too much, thankfully. We definitely make up for that in the summer when we have to keep everything cool. Hey y'all, it's actually the next day. Uh, <laughs> my sunlight was pretty much gone and so my video got a little wonky uh, and grainy anyways that's what we did to winterize uh the farm which we're here in the south it really doesn't get that that cold um so far the low for the year has been like 28 i think and that was only for a couple of hours um very rarely will we get down into the teens and even then it, it's for like an hour or two and then it starts climbing back up a little bit uh so we're not too too concerned about the cold here 
but I kind of wanted to jump on the bandwagon because I've seen a lot of other farms talking about how they're getting ready for winter. Uh, and I just wanted to show what it's like here in the South. So what about you guys? Do you have tons of snow and you have to prepare for realsies? Or are you like me and you can just kind of do it last minute? Uh, <laughs> what do you have going on? So yeah, let me know what you guys do. I'm just, I'm curious. I like to know about other practices uh, other than my own. And who knows, maybe one day I'll move north. Uh, anyways, thank you guys for hanging out with me today as we walked yesterday. As we walked through the farm uh, and I showed you how a southern farm winterizes. Until we meet again.